Hey everyone, Jason here, or Agent J, other one works, and in today's video we're going to talk about the HEMA, the new infested primary weapon. You can find the blueprint for this in the bio research lab in your dojo, although the requirements for the mutagen samples seem to be a bit outrageous to me. I'm not sure if DE is going to fix this later on or what, but it has happened before with, I believe, Wukong and Natain. Well, anyway, this is a burst fire weapon that has decent accuracy and low recoil. The HEMA does only viral damage, so this is one of those weapons that's going to be good against Grenier and other flesh-based enemies. However, if you're going against, like, Corpus Machinery and Infested, I would go and choose something else. Now, as far as other stats go, this weapon has a low critical chance at a you know, base of 7.5% and standard critical damage, so I wouldn't really call this a crit-based weapon. But the one stat that did stand out the most to me is that it has a 25% status base. And later on in this video, I'm going to show you how to get that 100% status later on. Now, the HEMA has two unique features, and the first of which is that your headshots will restore health. It doesn't matter if the enemy stays alive or if it dies, it just matters to get that headshot. Now, each headshot will restore approximately 10% of whatever the damage that was dealt. And whenever you actually score a headshot on enemy, it's going to make a distinctive sound like this. Just listen. Now, each headshot that you land will restore approximately 10% of the damage to your health. The other unique feature of this is that your ammo pool relies on your health. Now, how much health is going to use whenever you reload depends on how much you fired, but from what I've experienced, a full 60 round clip will use about 3% of your total available health. So if you're one of those that's actually good at headshots or you got something that can regenerate health like a rejuvenate aura or even Nidus or Trinity, um, this is not really going to be a problem for you. Now for the mods that I would consider the basics for this weapon is uh, serration just for that added damage. And you could also add cold and toxin elements in order to add more damage to this weapon also. Now, remember what I mentioned earlier about that 100% status? These are going to be the mods that you will need. Split Chamber, Hammer Shot, which is a Nightmare mod. Then you also have the dual Elemental Plus status mods of Rhyme Rounds and Malignant Force, and also the use of High Voltage and Thermite Rounds, and then Rifle Aptitude. All of these mods put together will add up to that 100% status, as you can see, now, that with the viral base and added radiation because you added the high voltage and the thermite, you can cause confusion on enemies and they will actually start damaging each other, basically taking some off of you. Now, if you're one of those that actually find this weapon pretty useful or is something you plan on keeping, I would definitely recommend you go ahead you know, and drop some form in there to add some polarities. They do offer a V to start with, but, you know, it never hurts to have more. Now, add all that damage, you know, if you have an informant in it, you put serration in there, you, can, you know, this could potentially be a good, powerful weapon if this is something that you are willing to keep and actually use. But overall, my thoughts, I um, definitely will give this an excellent rating. Being a viral base, it's going to be very effective against Grenier and other flesh base enemies. Um, the fact that the headshots will restore your health and, you know, the capability to actually get that 100% status actually will make this a weapon I would consider taking out into battle with me. Well, that's going to do it for me. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this or found it helpful and click that subscribe button to get notified when I upload a new video. Also, feel free to leave a comment down below with your tips, suggestions, and what you use for your mod loadout. See you next time.